So now I want to talk about reducing or simplifying fractions. And the main thing you have to remember, and I wrote this for you in green in the bottom left part of the screen, is you have to divide the top and bottom, or in other words, you have to divide the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. And if you don't know what the greatest common factor is, it's the biggest number that you can divide by both the numerator and denominator evenly. That means that you, when you divide it, you can't have a decimal. So if you look at this example, 3 over 6, we have a 3 in the numerator and we have a 6 in the denominator. What is the biggest number that we can divide by these two numbers that we don't get a decimal? Well, if you could tell that 6 can be divided by 3 evenly, because 6 divided by 3 is 2, and the 3 can also be divided by 3 evenly, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Um, so our greatest common factor between 6 and 3 is going to be a 3. So I'm going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor of 3. So I'm going to divide the top by 3. And whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom of a fraction. So I'm also going to divide the denominator 6 by 3. And now we can reduce or simplify this quite easily. In the numerator, we have 3 divided by 3, which is just 1. And in the denominator, we have 6 divided by 3, which is just 2. So now I'm going to draw a pi illustration, just so this makes a little bit more sense. Um, since we start with a 6 in our denominator, I'm going to draw a pi with 6 slices of equal size. And since we have a 3 in our numerator, I'm going to color in exactly 3 of these slices. So now over here to the right, I'm going to draw another pi. And since our fraction, our denominator was reduced to a 2, I'm going to draw this pi with 2 slices of equal size. And since we have a 1 in our numerator, I'm going to color in one of the slices. So now you can see from this illustration that 3 over 6 is exactly equal to 1 half. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.